ghostly greetings and holler at your boy Brew. Big shout out to Lost Cunningham. This is some books he mailed me. Dude, you have the best taste in books. I couldn't, I couldn't ask for a better stack of books. Like, and I'm being honest, 100% honest right now. If I went to the store and were to pick out books, some of these that you sent me would be the ones that I would buy. So thank you so much for doing that. I, it's been a rough, it's been a rough 2020 for your boy Prue. I work in sports and stuff like that, and you know, COVID. It's been rough on everybody, but stuff like this just gives me faith for the human existence. So awesome. So I want to get right into it. There's a lot, and I kind of want to talk about it. Um, this bookmark, though, however, is my favorite thing. Like right now, it's my favorite thing in the world. I kind of want to put it on my car, but I kind of want to use it as a bookmark, so I don't know. That's my favorite color of orange right there. It's Bigfoot, the huge urban legend geek. So yeah, that's amazing. I love that. That's that's probably going to be a bookmark because I, I don't know how to get another one of those. But okay, so let's get right into the books, the book haul, if you will, the book, the book mail, book mail. There you go. Um, the Library of Mount Char by Scott Hawkins. I'll tell you if I've heard of these, run and read them, yada, yada, yada. There are two and a half Pruisms here, and y'all discuss Pruisms later. But the Library of Mount Char, I have never heard of this ever, but it's extremely well blurbed on the back, which I honestly sometimes will. I pick out books on blurbs. All right, next up. Red Shirts by John Scalzi. You've heard of it, wants to read it. Now I have it and I will read it. People think, people say, Prue, you're a big horror channel. I'm not. I am not a horror channel. I'm a book channel. Sci-fi, horror, fantasy, I'm all over the damn board. Uh, I have an interest in cryptozoology and astrophysics. physics. There might be some of that serial killers. So I am not a horror channel. But I am indeed a fun dude and this looks like a fun book, so... Uh, author, I have read Old Man's War, so I don't know much about this book, Red Shirts. I assume it's based on the incense and like Star Trek, the guys who always die and they mutiny or something. I'm just assuming that I haven't really read anything apart from the black part. They were expendable, so they started taking notes. So that's cool. Uh, but Old Man's War was awesome, so I'm very excited to read that. Very, very excited. Um, up next, we got three Robert. McCammon books, McCannon. We got Swan Song, which I have heard of compared to The Stand, and I love the fucking stand. So, Swan Song, Boy's Life, and Stinger. These are massive tomes, so these will take a while. But I, I kind of lose my horror card when I say I haven't read Robert McMahon. And I should. I'm a horror geek. But I'm, I'm not, I need to upgrade my horror reading level. That's where I'm at. I'm, I'm a novice or a apprentice. I need to get to some higher level stuff. All right, up next, Brian Keene. I don't know which order these go in, but I think they go to the other. City of the Dead and Rising. I think Rising comes first. Don't hold me to it. But these are Brian Keene. I loved the Conqueror Worm book that he did. Brian Keene is a huge, huge member of the Splatterpunk lineup that I read. Uh, you know, Lamont, Ketchum, Lee. Brian Keene's up there, man. Brian Keene's one of the big, big ones in uh, Splatterpunk to me. And I love, love going through a good Splatterpunk novel. So, God, thank you so much for those, Timmy. I, there's, there's a few books in here that I'm extremely, extremely excited about. We're going to get to them. We're going to save those. Fuck it. We're doing those now. There's two and a half books I mentioned earlier that I refer to as Pruisms. First up is Kronos, uh, Moby Dick meets James Bond by Jeremy Robinson. I've read a few Jeremy Robinson books. They were okay. This looks more of a My Element. Uh, Ryan Lockwood's Below. They're here, and they're very, very hungry. Then I'm back. Pray It Kills You Fast. Yes. Then the half one is H.P. Lovecraft's Blood Curdling Tales of Horror and the Macabre. I also am a huge Lovecraft fan. Now, those are what I refer to as Pruisms. If you don't know what a Pruism is, it's a term I literally just made up when I thought about filming this video. 
Pruism is a, like, there was a book called Meg, and I'm going to claim it right now, Colin Dibbs. I'm the Meg guy on YouTube. I haven't read any more in the series. I do plan on it, but Meg, I'm going to call myself the Meg guy if I need to. I loved Meg so much. It was so good. It's about a shark in the water, and that's sort of like where I enjoy the most, because like in space or you're underwater, see... In a lot of haunted house novels I read, you just have to get away. But when you're in space or underwater, you kind of can't do that. You kind of got to deal with it. And that adds a whole additional level of dread, like that claustrophobia kicks in and the constant chasing or you're chasing it. So it's a bit more adrenaline packed. And these, these two indeed, and you know, H.P. Lovecraft and Cthulhu definitely are water-based. But these, you kind of get it and you're like, oh man, Prue likes sharks, likes the ocean, Stuff like that. That's, I feel like everyone has like a scene they like to read. Like, you know, some people, my boy E likes reading about the cold weather. I know uh, one of my friends says he likes a book that takes place in an abandoned house, like a haunted house, because he had a bunch of abandoned houses in his neighborhood. So, yeah, I get everyone has like that scenario that they just cling to. Um, all right, the next three are not horror, but we got Midworld by David Allen Foster. This is also, this has been on my TBR. I really want to read this because it's called Midworld. And that's a bit of a Stephen King thing for me because in the Dark Tower stuff, they refer to things as Midworld, kind of, kind of. But yeah, I knew, I've heard of this book. I've always wanted to read it. Uh, Rambo or First Blood by Dave Morrell. I have heard of this. Of course, I've seen Rambo. I'm like a huge 80s nerd, of course, with Jaws, but RoboCop, stuff like that. But this, I'm interested in seeing how this compares to the movie adaptation. I heard it's, I heard different things. My buddy who read this says it's okay, it's similar, but this is better. And my other buddy who listened to this said, no, nah, just, just watch the movie. So that could be, a, did he get the official book or did he get the novelization of the film? I don't know. And of course, Board of the Rings, a National Lampoon's take on The Lord of the Rings, which I have not read, but it's short enough. This might just be a bathroom buddy. And I will learn through that solid. It's amazing. Thank you. And then the last book. This is one I I almost legit made like, in like a little noise about it. Okay. So I am a huge Dan Simmons fan. I love the Hyperians. I liked the terror. But he sent me Carry On Comfort. This has been one that I have engulfed with reading i have always wanted to read this it's 800 pages i i can't find this anywhere like i said i live in podunk missouri so books in general that's honestly why i did my booktube channel just so i have something to talk to about books now my my father-in-law chris who's a great guy he's like the only guy i can talk to about books but we don't tend to have a same genre of reading. Chris likes normal stuff, and I like the really weird shit. So, uh, Chris, I really appreciate talking to, but this is why I got a booktube channel, so I can talk to somebody about this weird shit without my family looking at me like I need to get institutionalized. So, <laughs> uh, but this has been it. This has been the book haul from Timmy at Lost Cunningham. I am just, I was, I am humbled by the awesomeness of the books you sent me, sir. Thank you so much. I I got a little emo, I'm not gonna lie. I was like, <laughs> game face, bro, game face. But uh, yeah, this is amazing. This is, uh, like I said, I don't get, books weren't a thing growing up. And this is one of the, this is the best haul. And, and I say that with a bit of like tiptoeiness on eggshells because Timmy has mailed me books before and those were incredible also. He mailed me Dark Shadows, he mailed me The Mothman. And he knows like exactly what I'm into. And so Timmy, thank you so much. But but I'm not gonna lie. This is like, this this is amazing. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you. This makes 2020 okay. Uh, this has been your boy Prue. We're going on about 10 minutes, so I'm gonna wrap it up here. These are all awesome. If you know anything about these, if you want me to hit this, my TBR is down to two. I have just finished Lock Every Door. Every Locked Door. I just finished the, a new Riley Sager novel, my first and not last Riley Sager novel. I will be journeying further into those. That was that was pretty decent. I'll get into a review of that. Maybe Timmy and I can talk about that one. Uh, 
Also, I'm thinking about doing a video on, I had a YouTube channel before and it just was so drama filled. I got rid of it, but I think I might make a video explaining the reasons and why. So no one, a lot of my friends who, when I had my first channel, I added them, you know, I deleted my channel and then I still watch their videos, but I'll talk about that why. And a lot of them resubbed again, so I, I can't ever thank them enough for that either. But I might make a video for them knowing why I did that. And I'm not gonna like call no one's name out on that, but that's something I'm doing. But I don't wanna spoil a good moment with a sad story. So we're gonna end it right here. And this has been your boy Prue and Timmy. Thanks so much, man. Thank you and your awesome wife. I mailed your books today. So yes, to yesterday when this finally gets uploaded because my internet sucks. So I hope you get it. Um, it was a very, uh, it was very weird because I reused your box because <laughs> I didn't have one. So thank you so much. It's been your boy Prue. Stay creepy.